so uh, basically what is definitely demand for us and uh, high performance is always desired and expected right uh, yes so i would like to now reflect on some aspect uh, the first question which i would uh, like to ask you all and if you can put the you know the 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 answer on the chat that you can go to a time when you were you uh, performed at your peak you know aapne apna best performance diya tha in whichever area it can be in teaching it can be in any other area or also which you feel uh, so just reflect a moment or so and go to that uh, particular situation or that uh, maybe even to a class lecture where you felt that performance was absolutely the best i have never done such a thing ever so can we all reflect on that and uh, note down what it felt like right so can we do this right now uh, just uh, take a moment uh, if you feel you can even rise but like that only i think some instances will surely come to you when you are performing and uh, yes so what is it that excited thrilled i mean that is wonderful uh, anything else which you would like to mention what did you feel when you were giving your best shot and you felt yes this is it anything else um uh Jump on. Please satisfied. Wonderful. But uh, yes, please start your video. Yes. No. What is happening is if I start the video, the network is taking that much okay. space. So uh, okay. there will be a compromise on my voice. Audio will get compromised. So I don't want that. I surely want to switch it on. Uh, but then that should not be a problem like that. <laughs> that my voice is not. Uh, we should break in the middle. Okay. So I keep switching it on in the middle. Uh, fine, no problem. Fine. Oh yeah. Okay. So I've got a good response here. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got a good response here that you know uh, it felt uh, feel satisfied. Okay. Let's look at the another situation. Uh, feel proud of yourself. Yes. Please feel free to open yourself. Please write uh, whatever comes to your mind. Let's feel proud of ourselves. and um, can you take yourself to another situation maybe uh, it may be work related it may not be work related uh, where uh, you felt that you did not perform the best and there was something which blocked your peak performance so can you think of those things where you from performing your best you can go to that situation now uh, any anything work related your teaching related or otherwise also uh, whatever you may have done what are the barriers which you felt uh, to giving your best shot so let's reflect emotions okay phobia yes overnight workout definitely uh, time constraints yes wonderful and um, anything else okay planning okay anything else fatty yes definitely i think uh, this present pandemic is giving more than anything else we have expected so much to do uh, more work has come yes anything else which you would like to uh yeah, sometimes good, you have reflected uh, situation sometimes less clarity yeah. what is expected also yes, gives us fatigue okay yes less clarity also gives the day definitely yeah, that anything else understand what is to be actually you feel done. anybody wants to add to that yes definitely yes definitely anything else which you would like to add great so i'll just continue further um <coughs> Yeah, so you know we've we've done this series a lot of, uh, and you also had uh, given some uh, you know reasons why uh, you know when you are performing your best, you enjoy some of your wonderful answers. You were satisfied, you were focused, confident, you were calm, and that's when you gave your best shot. You were actually at the peak of your performance, right? And that is really an expansive state. You know, we say that yes, I felt so thrilled about it, and I felt that something good was. happening inside me my state my state of condition was really uh, which was uh, you know um, uh, something very different right you really enjoyed it right now when we see that something is blocking like some of you said phobias is something which which blocked a fatigue or maybe there are other distractions which come in our life right so uh, usually these kind of situations they don't allow us to perform our peak you know we know we have to do the best we know that all the thing is there but all the something or the other is there at the back of 
your mind might be fear it might be your feeling of uh, you know expectation or there is anger due to some issue somebody said something to you and you're feeling angry and that is again bothering you that state is not allowing you to perform your best though you have the potential you have the capability and you are absolutely prepared right but all these things are coming in the way so distractions are also coming in the way right uh, uh, so i would like to take an analogy from um, from a book which was written by uh, timothy galway now so that my basis of the presentation is uh taken from him um where he he basically you know um, a harvard uh, uh, you know a uh, uh, coach of uh, the, of tennis in 1970 he wrote the book the inner game of tennis and uh, according to him what he says is that performance is ee like you see on the slide is equal to potential minus interference right and what he says is when he is explaining this is he is saying that you know we are always in uh there is an inner game then and there is an outer game which we all are playing so first of all he gives this analogy of a sports person that whenever a sports person is on the field for example a tennis player right they has he has opponents uh, where he is battling with them you know and he has other colleagues also which are dealing with and uh, there is but there is also an inner game which plays inside his mind right so what he is saying is that when, when a player wants to perform at the peak if he everything is set you know his uh, we have all been coached to how to perform how to um, give our best shot and all those things are told to us but how you know deal with this inner game which is running in our mind we are never trained or coached on that so he is bringing up this beautiful concept of there is an inner game which being in our mind and if we learn how to uh, win this inner game it will it will help us to perform our best right so we have the potential so he is saying that potential is there but these interferences are created by our inner self and uh, what he is saying for tennis as a game actually he is saying that it applies to all of us in in whichever field be it or be it academics i think we are always uh, struggling between this inner game and the outer game so so like in the outer side if we look at academics we have students we have our fellow faculty we have our superiors we have people who report to us that is the external part but within me is also the inner game of, of which is playing in my mind which is playing a crucial now if i am able to deal with this inner self or the inner mind of my i will be able to deal with the interferences uh, so this basically or i can take it in the other way you know how do i eliminate the interferences and reach my peak potential right so basically according to him he said that performance is a, a potential potential minus interference now let's take a little bit more deeper look at it so he says that uh, this potential is can be uh, when we keep on coming to a state of concentration right uh, now you have seen some of you also have said that uh, when i was performing my best i was in a state where nothing else would have bothered you at that time is it not your mind was clear you were absolutely focused and you knew what you had to say and this mental chatter which usually happens sometimes which blocks our uh, other things which are disturbing us that when that ceases to happen that's when you would have realized that i performed my best yes so it's so always when we come to this uh, phase of relaxed concentration or you can say effortless focus we enjoy that state and we are able to give our best shot on the other hand this inner self what he is talking about the inner um a game what he is talking about is nothing but this mental chatter which is created by our own self only and there's a big role to play and we uh, um, in this what we call by our subconscious mind so basically he is saying that performance is equal to potential minus interference and how do we actually achieve this condition how do we come to a relaxed state so that we can perform our best and how do we eliminate the interferences so according let's um, uh, you know there is a technique which will help us do this and that's what uh, since i'm a heartfulness trainer i have been teaching a lot of students and faculty i believe that uh, this uh, this formula of is you know if we go to meditative practice we can achieve this very well so meditation along with transformation would have got one experience at least by now we'll take it up again today that has come to these states of relaxed and effort effortless focus and there is another technique which we teach today which is to eliminate all this
मेंटल चैटर जो हमारे अंदर चलता रहता है हम बहुत ही डिस्टर्ब हो जाते हैं इमोशंस बीच में आ जाता है तो वो सब हम कैसे एलिमिनेट कर सकते हैं टुडे वील डू अ प्रैक्टिस रिलेटेड टू दैट राइट सो आई वुड लाइक टू शो यू शॉर्ट वीडियो ऑन कॉन्शियस एंड सबकॉन्शियस थिंकिंग दिस विल हेल्प अस टू अंडरस्टैंड द सबकॉन्शियस माइंड ऑफ आर अ लिटिल बिट मोर इन डिटेल आई जस्ट टॉक दिन बिकॉज आई टू एनेबल इट फॉर वीडियो इन मोमेंट yeah so i'll just play this i let me let me know whether you can hear the the sound our brain requires a great deal of energy to operate particularly when we have to concentrate and think about something problem solving or making a decision not only uses more brain energy it also can be a slow process so our brain seeks to conserve energy by developing efficient ways of operating one way it does this is through conscious and conscious processing our brain seeks to automate much of what we do to save us time and brain energy these are our brain's subconscious processes they take care of our basic life functioning our fight or flight response and our learned behaviors and habits We don't really think about these things. They just happen on autopilot or it becomes second nature. In fact, up to 95% of all our behaviors and reactions happen at the subconscious level. Our subconscious is also involved in the recording and storing of our experiences and knowledge, forming our memories. These are stored in our brain like photos and picture albums, which we can refer back to later. The way we think and feel about these experiences forms a frame around the photo. This is how we get objects events in over time this is our fourth part our subconscious process how does that get the words sometimes we pull up on helpful habits or attitudes that are achieving our goals this is where more conscious thinking can benefit us Our conscious processing involves our higher thinking capacity where we can be more mindful and considered in what we think, feel and do. We can use conscious thinking to reprogram our subconscious and change our thoughts, attitudes and habits. While thinking consciously takes more energy, it is how we take greater control of our brain and achieve our goals. Okay. So, if you would have gone through the video, um, you would, I think we realize the importance which has been spoken about the conscious mind uh, and how the actually. हेलो 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 पूजा मैम यू आर नॉट टूगर ओके जस्ट अ मिनट होल्ड ऑन ओके 
wait a minute. Uh, uh. Yeah, but I need <laughs> to show the PPT. So just show that. <laughs> Okay. Can, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can hear me now? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, yes. So I'll just start off. I spoke some things and uh, okay. So what we saw in the videos, um, I think uh, we can get a short summary. And uh, Bruce Lipton in his book, Biology of Belief, has uh, summarized this very well. Uh, he has said um, that our thought pattern you know, it affects even our chemistry in our body in the sense that it even affects, it goes to the level of our DNA. And um, he has shown how positive thinking helps us to actually uh, change the, the the DNA and thereby our immunity and how negative thinking or negative, pat negative patterns affect our DNA in a different way. They decrease the immunity. So he has done a lot of researches and he has written about this in the biology of beliefs and he has a lot about we know all know about genetics that genetics has a big role to play in our what we are but um, he also given the role of epigenetics that you know um, that you know at least uh, seven years of your initial period of a, of a child's life the way the person um, you know is brought uh, the kind of atmosphere the kind of belief system which the person gets in his life they determine a lot uh, and all that is put in his subconscious mind that becomes the the basis of his, you know, his his behavior, and all throughout our life, we are constantly uh, uh, stored in our subconscious mind. So what he says is that all this is encoded in our subconscious mind in the form of programs. And so whenever something happens, and and the you know, it the subconscious mind is actually very powerful for actually uh, ninety five percent conditioning of our activities are because of this subconscious mind and uh, it, it processes information much faster it is a it is 1 million times more powerful than the than the conscious mind so 40 million bits per second is how it is processing compared to the conscious mind so actually the conscious mind is creative mind but that is a very less in our behaviors what we do the the subconscious mind you know it is more habitual mind and that takes over at most places. So the way we are brought about, the way we are conditioned throughout our life, uh, in any situation, whatever happens in our life, you know, uh, even if we are doing something, the beliefs and patterns which we have created or the experiences which we have got, they are actually becoming like an interference. And that's how we say there's a lot of role of emotions and everything. And all those are actually becoming a block to our performing our best. And that is how the subconscious mind is very powerful. Right. But the way how to reduce this interference is, is what we spoke about is, is we need to clear, there has to be some mechanism to, you know, clear the subconscious system. So basically, though Bruce Lipton has spoke, spoken a lot of uh, about the subconscious mind and he says that you continuously need to reinforce yourselves a lot of things so that your system of thinking change, but that takes a lot of time. When we adopt the practice and do it daily in our life, we'll be able to slowly clear all these patterns which we have formed inside ourselves. Inside ourselves. And that is what is the practice of healing which we will be speaking about today and also doing it, right? And then let us see. Now, here he has spoken about that the cause of everything is our impressions which are collected in our system, right, in, inside our mind. So uh, let us see how these impressions are formed. So every thought, you know, it leads to formation of action. Now every action, whether good or bad, it leads to formation of some habits. Now habits may be good or they may be bad. And that leads to formation that every interaction which we have with with the outside world, um, to uh, all the people around us um, in our transactions day to day, that is leaving an impact on in our own, you can say, inner, inner side, you know, the subconscious mind, basically. And that is something which stays with us. There is no release for it. For example, just go through a situation where you had an argument with somebody and uh, you can go back to the situation and see that what you felt at that point of time. Sometimes we are not able to let go of the feelings which come with those arguments and they stay with us throughout our life for long periods of time. So you may even forget that particular incident, but you know the impact which has it has created in your subconscious mind that will start influencing your behavior. 
you may if you have got angry on some person maybe that anger has not got a mode of release and slowly and slowly uh, you know how these patterns develop inside inside us if we are not conscious about it is that we they overtake us so they are becoming like a program inside us because you have felt bad or because you had anger maybe maybe not that same person comes but some other person comes and you release that anger emotion on that other person so it usually happens that so many people when they come back home they take off their load off or some frustration from their work life into the family and that's how you know, we we are actually not creating a conducive atmosphere around us it is it is really uh, you know uh, situations getting more worse right so if we want to create a happy and joyful life we we need to let go of whatever has happened during the whole day and leave it at the same day and not take it forward so there is an there is a there is a mechanism to do this and these impressions which are collected inside our energy field inside our mind all these things can be removed the same day and you will feel that this is what over a period of time causes stress and this stress leads to lot many things which are actually becoming a barrier to our performing the best right so so basically even what you do and you what you don't do sometimes creates guilt and that that is creating an impression or an impact inside our energy body or inside our mind right so um, now you you all have done meditation um, i think one of our trainers has conducted a meditation session on the power of pause and how meditation actually you know helps to uh, take take off the stress from our mind takes us to a different level of relaxation and deeper states of consciousness and that can all that helps us to bring change it become it brings uh, you know relax uh, it brings us to a relaxed state and it helps us to uh, basically bring this forward in all our interactions but there is another technique which we can do in the evening right and which will help us to actually erase the emotional baggage right and help us manage our emotions so whatever is like we spoke about uh, all the baggage which we keep collecting every day in our subconscious mind this technique helps us to declutter means it will help us to remove just like you remove you take care of your house and you clean the house of all the garbage of all the dust but you know this mind of ours we don't have any mechanism to clear everything is just storing and it is just affecting day by day and sometimes it bursts into various things which we we feel that i don't have to do right so it rejuvenates us when you do this practice in the evening and suppose you start the practice you will see that uh, at the end of the day you will be refreshed how it has helped me also personally i can tell you is that you know pure din bhar ki thakan chahe physical ho ya mental ho that is actually getting clear at the same day and sometimes we have so many projects work on we have so much reading studying and so many things apart from that also in our family we need to do we have to we don't have the energy at the end of the day to even talk sometimes because we need the lectures right so i have felt personally that if i do this technique i um i'm able to become um it rejuvenates me it gives us more it gives me more energy to whatever more i plan for myself and it also is stabilizing my emotional component so this is a, this is something which has created a you can say this technique has created a revolution in the field of uh, spirituality millions of people are doing this technique and reaping the and all this is provided free of charge uh, by heart of yours right so we look at the method of cleaning i show you a short video uh, so i'll need to just again uh, enable it for uh, the video <clears throat> just give me a moment so this is how we are going to do this this particular practice uh, can be done uh, at the end of the day uh, you can do it from 5 uh, minutes to 15 minutes jitna aapke paas time hai it is a little different from meditation because in meditation you are actually just let go of and you are just trying to get absorbed in yourself uh, but in this particular method you are using your mind actively okay and uh, you are you are uh, willfully giving some suggestions like very really simple there is no rituals or anything uh, or dogmas involved in this it is just you can say you are using your own power of thought to clear away all the baggage inside you which is there in uh, in the form of impressions inside you right so um, to start uh, if you want the effectiveness of this practice we'll do this today 
but uh, in order to bring it into your lifestyle if you want to learn this you should uh, complete 3 days of uh, heartfulness workshop and then you be able to do this on your own so i think we'll be about this towards the end of the session so i'll just show you the video now <laughs> what we are going to do now in three steps i would like to conduct this for all of you in a guided manner uh, <clears throat> okay so am i audible now i just wanted to check because after every stop share my voice is not yes, audible uh, you are audible uh, can you hear me Yes, yes. Okay, yes. Thank you so much. So, if you all can just thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, if you all can just prepare yourself. Um, I'll just tell you what we're going to do right now. Uh, I'm going to take you through a guided cleaning practice right now. And uh, what is required from your side is just need to be in a comfortable place where nobody will disturb you. Uh, you can also sit on the chair or you can sit cross legged. That is that is up to you. Uh, whichever way you are comfortable you can keep your back straight but not stiff so any time you feel like moving you can move but try to be in the same position um with your eyes closed now this, is, this guided cleaning is just in three steps first i'll be giving a suggestion on that you it's more about uh, giving these suggestions with a very good intention you are you are giving the intention to yourself you are making this suggestion basically and you are also using the technique of visualization so we are saying that everything which is all the impurities and complexities they are there inside me uh in the form of stress mental physical at whichever level all the levels uh, all this uh, stress anxiety you may not pinpoint but when we say complexities and impurities it covers everything basically so by just saying this we say that all these things which are basically becoming 
coming in the bar of my you know becoming a better person or performing my best all these things are leaving from my entire system from my back so you visualize your back and this, we say that from the top of your head till your tailbone you can visualize that part and from there everything is leaving in the form of smoke uh once we say it is to take it conviction so the feeling is more important that um, that you know whatever i'm doing it's happening then the second part of after we settle down for maybe one or two minutes i will give you a very brief pause basically after i give the first suggestion you need not repeat any instruction you just need to go with the flow ek bar bolke usme humko bas faith rakhna hai ki wo start ho gaya hai after that there will be a one or two minute pause because let us settle down in the process that the process has started so there will be a pause from my side then we again do the second part which is nothing but we say that the process has got accelerated so once i say that there will be another pause for maybe 3 4 more minutes and towards the end then i'll give one more instruction which is uh, that there is from the source that there is a sacred current which is coming and um, entering my heart and helping me to complete the process so basically we are emptying ourselves with our own suggestion and we are also taking the help of, of sacred current to source or the and this is please do participate like to let me show you so we will be able to uh, you know know the difference of how to do uh the second part of this will be uh, once you complete this we can we will do just maybe five minutes of meditation and then that will end, end the experience part so all the suggestions for this all the instructions uh, will be given to you for this right तो हम लोग ये इंस्ट्रक्शंस मैं धीरे धीरे बोलूंगी आई थिंक समटाइम्स द ऑडियो क्वालिटी गोज डाउन सो इफ यू ऑल आर रेडी कैन यू जस्ट से यस एंड आई विल स्टार्ट नाउ यस मैम यस मैम ओके थैंक यू सो आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर रेडी लेट्स क्लोज आर आईज वेरी सॉफ्टली एंड वेरी जेंटली uh process mentally so whatever i'm saying just go with the flow this is done to be done in the evening at the end of the day when all your activity is over this 15 minutes or so is enough for this particular practice 15 to 20 minutes never more than half an hour we start with the suggestion that all the beauties complexities grossness darkness any disease which is there inside me anything which is becoming a block to my progress at any level is going out of my entire system from my back so we can visualize our back and from that part from the top of your head till your tailbone everything is getting what zara multiplication kar tu manane hey somebody can you please mute yourself <coughs> the professor rahul if you can mute yourself please yeah so all these things are going out from your entire back in the form of smoke you can visualize the smoke oozing out
After one or two minutes, when we settle down with the process, he gives the second suggestion that the whole process has been accelerated. And we just stay with the thought that all the impurities and complexities are going out of my entire system from my back with a lot of speed. When you do this in the evening, when we start this practice, you can continue in this in this relaxed state where we have accelerated basically for maybe five minutes or ten minutes. At the end of it, you will start feeling lighter. Once you start feeling lighter, that is, you will understand yourself. You will give the third suggestion, which is that now I'm connected to the source and from there the sacred cut from the front entering my heart and going to all parts of my body, my entire system. So the sacred current is helping you complete the process of cleaning. So when impurities are gone, I am feeling pure. When complexities are gone, I am feeling simple. I have reached each and every cell of my body and helped me to become simple and pure.
for exactly balance state. So we complete the whole process of cleaning with the suggestion that it has been done successfully. Now well, this is how we do the guided um, cleaning. I would request you to close your eyes for maybe five minutes more and let us do the second day's meditation. You only it once. This is when you do it again, it will it will help you to understand also. It will give you an experience once again. It will really help you. Uh, so let's continue to keep our eyes closed. And we are already in a relaxed state. Let us be not attention to our heart. And, and give a suggestion there that there is a source of light in my heart which is pulling my attention inward and I'm in it. We say this only to connect with ourselves so that we can reach the higher presence, the inner higher self inside us. If thoughts come during the process, we treat them like uninvited guests. We should just get the thoughts come to go away. And when we get that understanding, they will cease to bother us because we are just sitting to be with our own self, to enjoy our higher self, to experience whatever is there to, to experience, basically. So we just need to be like a witness. Thoughts may come or may not come. They will come and they will go, like just like passing clouds, you know, we bother about them. Let us just be relaxed and allow ourselves to immerse into this experience, to absorb into our own self and connect with our inner self. So please start meditation. It is the time I see the all. Please start.
That's all. <coughs> Very, you may be um, keep your eyes closed for another minute or so, and try to slowly and slowly come out of into the present moment. Feel like. Continuing to open your eyes, you may continue to do so, or you can open your eyes slowly and gently. And now observe how you're feeling compared to what you were before. And write down your observations in your diary or your notebook, right? <coughs> so I'll give you a moment to write that for yourself because this observation goes a long way in basically becoming more aware about our own self. And when you do it after meditation, it really helps you um, in the long run also because you have um, understood uh, the importance of writing your observations or knowing your true feelings which are emanating from you at this point of time. So basically there are four core practices of heartfulness. Relaxation, meditation, and cleaning is what we have covered in two days. Uh, if you all would like another session which will complete the, the whole package of the Huckless Workshop, uh, um, do contact us or you can contact us individually or if it's possible during this series, like it. But I will leave that to uh, the Maratwada Mitwandal management. Uh, so we need basically, we need to complete three introductory sessions from a trainer to start the practice on our own. and uh, if you want to, um, at your own convenience, if you want to learn these three techniques on three different days, according to your time, you can register at actfulness.org/masterclass. These are online uh, masterclasses by the guide himself. So this you can do work at your own pace. We'll be sharing this PPT with you. So I've already shared this with Kavita, Dr. Kavita. Uh, there's another mode how you can connect with the virtually with the Huffles trainer through the heart app. And the download link is also being provided to you all. There are also links to videos which we had shared or like related to guided relaxation, meditation, cleaning techniques, and whatever we have done during today and the other uh, day, which um, uh, one of our colleagues has uh, taken you through meditation. Uh, if you want, any way you have to, or you want to organize a heartfulness workshop in your college for your faculty and students, you can write to us at campus at heartfulness.org or you can write to me also because I'm, I'm a part of that team uh, for the University Connect Initiative called campus. So put dot at heartfulness.org. You do mark me a copy so that it will enable me to um, help you with uh, trainers across India we have in every city. And since it's online, anybody from any part of the world can actually to conduct a training now. There are another two books or resources, The Heartfulness Way and Designing Destination by the Guide of Heartfulness. It's really available on Amazon and you can, this is something which I thought I'll share. Uh, uh, we've just given you an awareness what meditation can do and what the practice, if you can inculcate into your lifestyle, will help you to perform, uh, you know, in a better way. Uh, but this needs a little bit of discipline. It needs uh, some interest and willingness on your part. Uh, as far as my experience goes, these 20 years which I have practiced and I'm also now a trainer, I feel that it has helped me in every aspect of my life. It has helped me to come, uh, you know, come out positively and a changed person and still the transformation continues. But the only thing which I found is when I was not regular, I was not able to perceive the benefit. But when I started doing it even a little bit every day, what has been prescribed, I was able to um, actually feel the difference uh, in my own th thought process in my life. And uh, so I encourage you all um, very humbly uh, to try this and do get in touch with us. And if you want to complete one more session, since you have done two, we are there to help you out. We do not charge anyone anything at any point of time. It's, it's, an, it's a benefit which we are working for a bit of serving humanity and helping them uplift to the next level. Uh, so, so that's about 
it from my side, and uh, I would want if you would want, want to ask any questions, uh, please feel free to ask at the point of time. Great. Um, <clears throat> so I have shared the links with you. I'm just getting some questions about uh, you'd be interested to convert. Uh, conducting your university, please contact me. I've given my email ID. I'll help you connect to the right person. Uh, yes, um, yes ma'am. And that, um, uh, I have written. I'm Ruti yes. Kutiala. So I shall be interested yes. to conduct it in sure, the university. I'm from Symbiosis Skills and Professional University. So okay. Uh, okay. I, in, in Pune? Sorry. In Pune, you are yeah, yeah, in Pune, and that too at Kivale. That oh. is Mumbai Pune Highway. Okay. The university is there. Okay. So for the same, I was asking that if we can do it for all the faculties. So I shall be Absolutely. contacting you. Just that your number yes, will be required. Yeah, um, I'll I'll send you here on the chat. I need yeah, to I will be copying it. Yeah, great. Yeah, thank you. Yes, I shall be remember. Yes. So yes, this is Kedarnath sir is asking. Is it? Uh, it's free of charge. We do not charge at any point of time. We are volunteers. In the whole process, and uh, everybody who is just working and also on devoting their time for this call, so we do not charge anyone for this. My number is there. You can send me a WhatsApp message, or you can uh, let me know. We can conduct it in any part of the world, actually. Um, since it's online, it'll be easier for our trainers. We have more than we have around 13,000 trainers worldwide, and we are present in more than uh, you know around 160 countries, and people from all faiths and practices. Uh, of different religions and different backgrounds, they are uh, doing this and seeing the benefit of life. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. I have noted it down, so I shall be in touch. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. The session is open for question and answer. So if you have any question, any doubt, you can ask to me. So do we have participants from all across India, ma'am? Yeah, we are having participants. Um, no, small or India. Okay, that's wonderful. <clears throat> no question. <laughs> I think everybody is in a state of bliss, then that is what I should take it. <laughs> You're completely relaxed that no questions are there. <laughs> Okay, then I will ask one question. I have one question. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you explain in a very uh, expressive way the how the impressions are formed. Like there is a thought, then action, then habit, and then impression is there. Right? Yeah. So this impression is responsible for the behavior pattern. Right? Yes. So accordingly, yes. Uh, our behavior changes. Right? So how to... Yes. Uh, Take a command, or how to have a command on behavior with respect to all these pieces, means thought, action, habit, impression. So, how to control our behavior, or how should have a, we have a command on behavior? So, if you elaborate this okay. point, uh, it would be helpful for uh, I think everybody. Sure, sure, yeah. So basically, like I brought this concept of subconscious mind, and uh, we have we have the potential to perform, but our behaviors which we have gathered up till now, abhi tak chokne. Okay, ma'am, are you still speaking? Okay. Uh, am I audible? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. fine. Yeah. So basically, our behavior is all what we have experiences which we have gathered up till now in our life. And all that pattern is 
stored in our subconscious mind, right? And uh, by uh, research also, uh, scientists have shown that this is more powerful. So whenever you want to change also, this is taking over like an autopilot on us. So हम अगर अभी हमने कभी गुस्सा किया होगा किसी पे या कुछ hurt हुआ होगा, लेकिन एक similar situation हमारे सामने आ जाए तो वो मैंने लास्ट टाइम ऐसे बिहेव किया था तो मुझे अभी नॉट चेंजिंग बेसिकली इट इज जस्ट स्टोरिंग सो जस्ट लाइक यू नो वी गिव कमांड टू दीनी कि ये करो तो वो ऑटोमेटिकली दैट पर्सन इज दिस इज स्टोर्ड इन आर सबकॉन्शियस माइंड वी डोंट हैव एनी मैकेनिज्म टू चेंज बिकॉज हैव गॉन थ्रू अ सीरीज ऑफ एक्सपीरियंसेस सो इफ वी स्टार्ट रिलैक्सिंग अवर माइंड इफ वी स्टार्ट यू नो ब्रिंगिंग दिस पॉज इन टू आर लाइफ थ्रू अ प्रैक्टिस we will be able to get more control of our own self so the mind which is taking us in different direction uh, that will automatically learn how to bring this pause into our life you know and we will be able to take up that's why you know people say that emotional intelligence actually hai kya it is doing the right thing at the right time in the right way and with a command on your own self the self mastery should come into your life so i may uh, choose to react to a person who is talking badly to me or i may choose to know this is not the right time if i flare up right now if i become angry also that person will actually it will create a certain different impact i will not be able to resolve what i have started for so this pause every the practice of meditation is actually bringing a pause into our life when we pause every day we learn to pause ourselves even in other moments so that is how it is teaching us for that we need to learn to do it experientially we need to take out time 5 minutes 10 minutes jitna bhi ho that is how meditation is helping us second is the patterns which we have already built up the practice is helping to remove that pattern from inside us and this you can gain only by experience so if you start a practice you give it at least 3 months see what change and transformation is coming you test it for yourself so there is an open invitation to all that you test it see for yourself how much ever i say it is somebody else's experience you should try and do it yourself and once you are convinced then you can share with others also so that's how we proceed we treat it like a mental experiment and we try it we test it and when we are absolutely we are convinced so there is no force on compulsion on anybody to do it but yes definitely we keep this awareness so that we know the importance and the impact it can bring it can actually bring transformation it can design your destiny uh you can become a better person or whatever you wish to through these practices so it's it's you know the road is just open for you uh you have to decide for yourself now it's your will that way when you come yeah thank you thank you a few thank more you. questions are there in the chat box okay i'll check so Yeah, so I have shared the PPT, ma'am, with uh, with Dr. Kavita. I have sent it as a PDF. Okay. Somebody has asked difference between meditation and heartful program, and when what to do. So please contact us separately because that will help. And uh, the heartfulness program is all about teaching you the heartfulness practices. One is the relaxation and meditation, which we do on the first day. Second day, we teach the cleaning or rejuvenation, which is the evening practice. and the third day we say that you know even uh, like we spoken about the subconscious mind we say that ab ye program humko uh, change karna hai apne ko right we want to move ahead so before you sleep in the night if you reprogram yourself by positive thoughts and go to meditative state and sleep it will help you to move forward because you are in that state what is happening the all the good suggestions are going just when you are going to go to sleep they when you sleep it will go percolate into your meditative state it will go deep into your subconscious mind and that's how you it will bring change or jo bolte hain transformation hum chaah rahe hain par nahi ho pa raha hai to jab hum sote hain wo bahut powerful state ho jata hai aur us waqt hamara bahut sari cheeze hum apne andar badal sakte hain so that is the third part we teach at the as a part of uh, um, our third wood day workshop we actually wanted to do 3 days over here so that it completes it for everyone but in case you have extra time on your calendar we still can do it i don't know till how long is this series uh, but just uh, so that everyone knows the total benefit of it that way uh, but i leave it to you ma'am no problem whoever is interested can get interested that also no problem yeah one one more question is there for so the yeah so now yes i just 
needed out uh, which tool is used to calm the mind or eradicate the the fear or the sorrow. So basically, meditation actually is helping us to relax, become calm. Uh, so that is uh, definitely helps us move forward. Right? It'll take us into a relaxed state. But like we are already carrying a baggage, you know, our fears, sorrows, hurts, emotions, these are हमारे अंदर हैं. तो वो हमको निकालने की भी जरूरत है. ऐसा नहीं कि हम सिर्फ मेडिटेशन कर रहे हैं तो हम जो हैं उसमें आगे उतना बढ़ नहीं पाएंगे बिकॉज जो हमारा ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टिंग है वो जा नहीं रहा है सो वी आर सेइंग दैट द टूल फॉर रिमूविंग ऑल दिस इमोशनल बैगेज इज द इवनिंग फीलिंग प्रैक्टिस एंड वेन यू डू दैट स्लोली स्लोली यू विल सी द शिफ्ट इन योर कॉन्शियसनेस यू विल बी एबल टू यू नो वॉट एवर थिंग यू सेट एंड निकालना है फियर निकालना है सब धीरे धीरे अपने आप से चला जाएगा सो इट्स वेरी नेचुरल वे ऑफ लिविंग योर लाइफ स्टाइल इफ यू इनकलकेट दिस इन टू योर डेली रूटीन and uh, there is a whole lot of information once you connect with us uh, i mean there is no limit uh, to where you know this can take you it's all up to you any other any other, any other question so i'll put my email id also here once again uh, Okay. Then we will conclude our session. Aruna. Okay. You can start. Thank you, ma'am. So it is privilege to have Pooja Sinha, ma'am, as a guest speaker. She delivered an insightful lecture and content. Then we share a very helpful video with us. You share a very important content regarding how to use or how to clean our mind, how to clean emotional baggage. Importance of meditation, uh, conscious and subconscious thinking. So thank you so much, ma'am. I would like to thank you, ma'am, on behalf of MMPS Management Principal Sir Faculty. Thank you. Thank you, all participants. Thank you, everyone, for having me here. Wish you all a blessed day and a week ahead. And uh, we will look forward to connecting with all of you once again sometime. Okay. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, one minute, yeah. ma'am. Just uh, participate okay. and start your video. so that we can yes, take a nice. short with na delegate please start your video Thank <laughs> you. Maybe the network. <laughs> 